hey everyone in this video we are going to talk about preterm labor now uh, very easy definition onset of true labor less than 37 weeks okay very simple less than 37 weeks if there is a true labor it is preterm labor now the concept of preterm labor i am telling you uh, let's start from the last menstrual period up to 12 weeks there is a first trimester in which organogenesis happens almost all organogenesis has been completed by the end of the first trimester okay now in the second trimester till 28 weeks growth of these uh, developed organs become complete almost complete at 28 weeks okay and from the 28 weeks now the baby starts its preparation to live independent of the mother in third trimester what happens is the baby grows uh, grows itself and make itself independent of mother in this weeks uh, so the 28 uh, week is the age of viability all over in India. Actually in the world it is taken as 22 weeks but for all practical purposes in viability taken as 28 weeks. So 28 to 30 weeks, 32 weeks if the labor happens it is called very preterm labor. 32 to 34 weeks if labor happens it is called moderate preterm. And after 34 weeks, up to 37 weeks, it is called late preterm. But the very important figure about preterm delivery and management is not 37 weeks. The figure you not I want you to remember is 34, because at at the age of 34 weeks, the lungs of the fetus generally becomes almost becomes functional, and can be. Uh, very independent if the delivery if the baby comes out can independently work also okay surface uh, uh, enough amount of surface uh, surfactant is there in the lungs after 34 weeks so what is the goal in preterm labor what is our goal what is the doctor's goal stop or prevent labor up to 34 weeks why because to achieve lung maturity at 34 weeks and after that as long as possible up to 37 weeks but up to 34 weeks we try everything to stop the preterm labor along with giving the steroids to achieve lung maturity after 34 weeks the lung maturity has been achieved almost all so after that we actually very uh, not very aggressively try to stop the labor but be very vigilant about the fetus and mother status after 34 weeks okay now the incidence is 5 to 15 percent The risk of preterm labor in present pregnancy depends on the previous history also. If the previous history of preterm labor more than 35 weeks, then the then the risk is 5% in this pregnancy. If the previous history of preterm labor less than 35 weeks, then my friends, 15% is the risk in this this pregnancy. If more than two preterm labor less than 34 weeks in previous pregnancies, then it is a very high risk pregnancy as the 40% risk of preterm labor is there in this current pregnancy. Now, I need to know you the very basic concepts in preterm labor. What actually happens in preterm labor? Prostaglandins are increased. 
which should be increased is the term but it increases before 37 weeks and what can be the reasons infection it can be idiopathic physical trauma to the patient over stretching of the uterus it occurs in the polyhydromyosis twins pregnancy uterine anomaly in which the uterine cavity is not well formed and and it is not able to stretch or, uh, enough to adapt to the baby smoking diabetes mellitus all these things actually increases the prostaglandin increases the inflammation and this inflammation will lead to uterine contraction and cervical effacement and dilatation so this causes labor uterine contraction along with cervical effacement and dilatation causes labor cervical impact incompetence can also be the reason of cervical dilatation premature cervical dilatation we, we should predict preterm labor when the cervical length is less than 2.5 centimeter now how you diagnose you diagnose first of all you you need to identify the correct maternal uh, sorry correct gestational age just identify very very accurately what is the gestational age you can go for history from the mother ask whether they are very sure of their LMP or not get the first trimester ultrasound if the available with the patient from which you can accurately identify the gestational age then you should identify the true whether there is a true labor or not true labor means regular rhythmic uterine contraction along with cervical dilatation and presence of show along with back pain abdominal pain this all uh, uh, is only we can think about is in true labor if we see on usg the cervical length is of less than 2.5 centimeter dilatation happens more than 2 centimeter uh, the the figure the, the cervix uh, the canal cervical canal becomes like this from t shape to u shape another very important finding or chemical finding is fetal fibronectin present in the vaginal discharge uh, my friends fetal fibronectin produced by fetal amniote and if we get a presence in vaginal discharge that means yes preterm delivery can happen in this case now what is the management management is as simple as that if you have understand the concept we need to prevent uterine contraction we need to prevent cervical dilatation and we need to achieve lung maturity if preterm labor is less than 34 weeks so to prevent uterine contraction we use tocolytics tocolytics are the drug which relaxes the uterine smooth muscle and prevents uterine contractions that are nifedipine, ritrodine, isoxyprine, maxilf, all these things, magnesium sulfate, everything is uh, mentioned here is a tocolytic drug. How nifedipine we take? 20 mg straight followed by 10 mg 4 hourly. Magnesium sulfate should be given in higher doses if we want to use it as a tocolytic. And the uh, concentration in the blood is uh, around 8 to 10 meq per liter. So, it's only if you if we use in higher doses that only then only the tocolytic effect of maxilf will there deodorant drip can be used but again my friends i am telling you tocolytics can only be used if the labor is less than 30 preterm labor is less than 34 weeks after 34 weeks you don't need to use tocolytic rescue cervical uh, in circlage can be done but not preferred after 34 weeks lung maturity is the very important thing is a very important thing in the preterm labor for lung maturity we use steroids two preparations available injection betamethasone 12 mg two doses 24 hour parts injection betamethasone 6 mg four doses 12 hour parts 
in india dexamethasone is very readily available betamethasone is not that available dexamethasone is cheaper also now the effect of the steroid starts after 24 weeks everybody knows progesterone it also acts as a uterine relaxant it prevents uh, unnecessary prostaglandin in, into the uterus so yes it also used uh, injection 70 alpha hydroxyposterone caprioid 500 mg im weekly vaginal micro nice progesterone pesticides of 200 mg daily this we can use to prevent preterm labor if we have if we know that there, there is high risk of preterm labor or there is a history of preterm labor in previous pregnancy we should use progesterone up to 36 weeks even okay now if the preterm labor is less than 34 weeks we start steroids along with tocolytics. Tocolytics should be used for short term. For example, you cannot use tocolytic for uh, more than even two or three days. You need to achieve lung maturity. Till then, you can give tocolytics. But if it is more than 34 weeks, then you not, don't give tocolytics. Only steroid one dose is necessary. Then wait and watch for the delivery. The mode of the delivery is if the vertex presentation is there everything is okay then vaginal delivery but if the breach is there or any other mal malposition malformation then you can go for caesarean section thank you